hello everyone welcome to this microsoft azure video in today's video we're going to talk about the introduction to azure synapse analytics we're going to consider key features such as workspace data integration data pipeline analytics data exploration data storage security management and some other benefits so let's get started if you're new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notification. So what is Azure Synapse Analytics? It's basically an integrated analytics service offered as part of the Azure service that brings together big data and data warehousing capabilities. It allows individual developers or analysts to query data on their own terms using either the serverless or provisioned resources at scale. Some of the key features that are peculiar to the Synapse Analytics under the unified experience are one, workspace. This provides a platform that simplifies the data engineering, machine learning, and business intelligence tasks. And two, we have what's called the Synapse Studio, which is an integrated development environment that enables data preparation, data management, data exploration, data warehousing, big data, and artificial intelligence tasks. And of course, on the data integration side, we have what's called data ingestion, which is seamlessly integrated with various data sources, including Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, Azure Blob Storage, on-premises SQL servers, Cosmos DB, and other platform. And of course, on the data pipeline side, we can perform the extract, transform of loading of data using the data pipeline. And on the analytics side, we have what's called the SQL analytics, both on-demand, serverless, and provisioned dedicated SQL pools for interactive querying. And of course, on the Spark side, this is an integration with Apache Spark for big data analytics workload. And for the data exploration, we can use SQL on demand and Spark pools, which enables us to explore data without needing to move or copy data from one source to another destination. And for the data storage, the Azure Synapse Analytics supports the Data Lake Storage Gen 2, which is native support for Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, which combines the power of high performance files with massive scale and economy. And of course, on the security and management side, the Azure Synapse Analytics support or it includes data protection features like encryption, version network support, managed private endpoints, and firewall rules. And of course, it allows us to monitor the performance and troubleshoot whatever that's going wrong in our engine. The benefit side, the Azure Synapse Analytics allows us to store data independently, ensure that we can manage workloads of varying size efficiently without running into major problems. And based on performance, it is optimized for performance with capabilities like materialized view, result set caching, and adapting caching mechanisms. And of course, it offers serverless on-demand compute, which allow you to pay only for what you use without having to pay so much. And for the integration with Azure ecosystem, we can seamlessly integrate with other Azure services such as the Power BI, Azure Machine Learning, and Azure Data Factory. And all of this provide a comprehensive analytics solution. So having said all of this, let's see how we can create what's called the Azure Synapse Workspace. In the portal.azure.com, I'm gonna to come to this search menu and search for the Azure Synapse Analytics. Click on that, and then we'll create a Synapse workspace. Click on that, and then we're going to land on the Create Synapse workspace page. And of course, under the Basics tab, we're going to provide our subscription, and then we can provide the resource group. Of course, I can choose one of the existing one, but I want to create a new resource group. I'm going to call this one Azure Synapse RG or for resource group. Click OK, and of course, this is not required. This Manage Resource group, and I'm going to scroll down. Under the workspace details, we're going to provide a name for the workspace. I'm going to call this one Abiola Synapse. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my region. So I'm going to scroll down and choose the UK South. And of course, for the select data lake storage gen 2, we want to create a new ADLS gen 2. So we'll click on new and I'm going to call this one ADLS gen 2 Abiola. And then we're going to create a container within the newly created ADLS Gen 2 Abiola. So click on this Create New. And let's just call it on Sales Container. And that should be fine. Click OK. Now we're going to have this 
um, assign myself the storage blob data contribution role on the data lake storage and tool account to interactively query it in the workspace so this is absolutely required now i'm going to scroll up and come to the security now for the security of course we can use the authentication mode either use both local or microsoft entry id i'm going to use only Microsoft Entry ID authentication. So this is checked for me. And I can click on Review plus Create. And this is going to be validated. And of course, we can go ahead and create. So validation succeeded. Click on Create. After about five minutes, the whole thing is created. We're going to have the storage accounts, the Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on Go to Resource. So when I click on that, I'm going to see we have this Azure Synapse RG workspace created. Now, in the workspace, we're going to have the Synapse workspace. And of course, we're going to have this ADLS Gen 2 that is this storage account. So I can click on this and let's see the content. So when, when I click on that, I'm going to see the overview. And of course, I'm going to see other things such as the containers. And when I come to the container, I'm going to see the sales container that we just created where we are actually creating the workspace, which is cool. Now I can go back, let me come back. And of course, I can launch the Synapse Analytics. Click on this, Abiola Synapse. And of course, we can see things such as the overview. And in the overview, you can see the resource group, the status, the location, and so many other details, including the firewall. And then we can go ahead and launch the Azure Synapse Studio by clicking on this open here. So click on that. And when I click on that, a new tab is opened separately. So this is going to be the welcome page to the Synapse Analytics workspace. So I'm going to say Abiola iPhone Synapse. And of course, we have on the left hand side, we have the home tab, which is the default anyway. We have the data tab. Now in the data tab, we're going to see what's called the workspace that we're going to create later on in some other videos. And then we're going to have this automatic linked service to the Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool. So when I click on this Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool to expand, I'm going to see we have the Abiola Synapse primary ADLS Gen 2. And of course, I can see the attached container. Basically, we have not done nothing much. Now I'm going to click on this. We're going to see the sales container that you know we saw earlier. So this is going to be our container in the ADLS Gen 2. Now I'm going to come to the develop. Now in the develop, we can go on and create items such as we want to create the SQL script, the KQL notebook, data flow, a participant job, and so on. And of course, in the integrate, we can see things such as um, creating a pipeline, link connection, copy data pool. And when I come to the monitor, we're going to see we have the analytics pool, the SQL pools, the Apache Spark pools, and data explorer pools. And of course, under the activities, we're going to see the SQL requests, KQL requests, the keys to query language, Apache Spark applications, data flow debug. And when I come to the manage, we're going to have the analytics pool such as the SQL pool again, Apache Spark, and then we're going to see the external connection such as the linked services, Microsoft Power View, and then for the integration, we're going to have the triggers, the integration runtime, and then for the security, we're going to have the access control, the robust access control, the credentials, and so many other stuff. So this is basically how we can create the Azure Synapse Analytics. In the next video, we're going to see how we can upload files directly in the Synapse Analytics workspace. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.